Greetings, I am John May, a graduate media management candidate from Atlanta, Georgia. First off, I have to start off with a few shout outs to my fellow FAMU Rattlers in the building, to my fellow brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi, to my fellow veterans, thank you for your service. And now, to the graduates we see before us. Parsons, where are y'all? <laughs> College of Performing Arts, where are y'all at? <laughs> School of Social Research. <laughs> and the School of Public Engagement. <laughs> Shout out to the media management students in the room. Now, on behalf of my classmates, did I forget somebody? Mans, Mans, I'm sorry, Lang, no, Lang. <laughs> Got a little ahead of myself. Now, on behalf of my classmates to every parent here, I say I love you and thank you for never giving up on me. On behalf of my classmates, to every friend, ally, and sibling in the room, I say, you never doubted me, and you celebrated my wins as if they were your own. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So now that the formalities are out of the way, I will focus the rest of my time on one very specific type of student. So it's not, it's not for everybody. The non-traditional student. A non-traditional student is a phrase frequently thrown around to define anyone who graduates at a time period or age in their life that isn't considered the standard timeline. I, for one, can attest to this, having taken almost eight years to graduate from my undergraduate school instead of four. Side note, you can imagine how relieved my parents were when they found out I would be finishing grad school in a very traditional two years. But that isn't the non-traditional student I'm talking about. You see, whether you graduate in two years, or four, or eight, at the new school, you are without a doubt anything but traditional. In fact, challenging the status quo has been built into this university since its founding in 1919 and continues to this day. With professors like Hannah Arndt, W.E.B. Du Bois, and more recently, the late Michelle Mater. With students like Sarah Ruddick, Harry Belafonte, and Mark Jacobs. In fact, from my very first day of class, the curriculum made me ask the more challenging questions of myself and how I could impact society for the better. For example, was the media landscape fair and equitable to everyone? What should robotics' role in medicine and healthcare be? What impacts do fashion have on the environment, and how can you, as a student today, help solve them? On top of all that, we attended school in a global pandemic, a recession, political upheaval, and a racial reckoning this country has yet to resolve. And we endured. These aren't the typical questions the university asked its students, and they certainly aren't the traditional challenges any normal student rises to. But now and forever at the new school, we seek to challenge what is traditional. So before my time is through on this stage, I will ask every classmate to do this. Take a second and breathe. This is this moment in a beautiful space in between what has come and what comes next. 
Even if it's just for a few minutes, enjoy it. And if you can, save as big of a piece of it as possible and carry it with you for as long as you can. Because I can tell you for sure, there will be days that you need to be reminded of how far you've come. I can't wait to watch the rest of the world recognize the talent I see before me. I, it's time for us to take another step into our greatness. Everything we want is already ours. We just have to have the courage to claim it. Stay untraditional. Thank you and give yourselves a round of applause.